doubling and halving. How to double and half also to understand half is the reverse of double and vice versa. So doubling is times in by two, two lots of half as the fraction says they are half sharing. And divide by 2. So let's just look at the powers of just doubling and halving. If we just look at just doubling at the moment and just say times by 2, and you know, you can just use this to say your two times table, which is quite powerful, right? So times 2, two times table. So basically, you got you know, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Then you got 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 16 is 32, 64, 128, and it goes on, right, 256, and it goes on. Now, if I can work out my two times table, I can also work out right my four times table, my eight times table, my sixteen time table, my thirty two time table, my sixty four time table. Right, and basically, if I look at any of these numbers, so for example, let's just take um times two, so. Let's just look at two times, two times 40, right? So I'm going to double the four, that's eight, right? And that's zero, so that's 80 times 10. So um, I can actually use this to do multiples. So, you know, times two, times four so for example let's look at eight times eight times um say twelve okay someone could have told me that straight away so that's ninety six but let's just look at I don't know my timetable right this is very important so let's just look at how I'm going to use two times so basically I've got 12 times 2, right, so that's 24, okay, and if I double, again, if I double 24, that's going to give me, so I'm going to do 24 times 2 again, that's going to give me 48, That's going to give me 48. And if I double 48, that's going to give me 96. So by just doubling, right, double, it's four, um, double two times is four times, double four times. It's going to give me eight times. Okay, now doubling, the reverse of doubling is basically off. So let's just look at some examples here. So if we look at, say, for example, right, 160, right, Half of 160, right? Same thing as dividing by 2. 2 into 16 goes 8, right? 80, which is the answer, double, which is times by 2, 160. So the opposite or the inverse of each other, times in by 2, dividing by 2, and dealing with much complicated work. So you know any number right 
you know, times by 8, times by 16, times by 4, times by 32, okay, by just doubling and offing, you're able to master these. So, if we have, for example, say, 4, 3, 6, 6, and I need to half or double this, let's double it first, double, right, so let's just think about how I'm going to double this, so we're going to double 6, right, that's going to give me 12, so you, you got 2, Carry one, right, double the three plus the one, that's going to give me seven, that's eight. Let's off it and then I'm going to show you the bus stop method. So we got eight, seven, two, right, divide by two. So two into eight goes four times, two into seven goes three times, remain the one, and two into 12 goes six times. So you can see offing and doubling, right, the opposite of each other. So, in summary, the opposite of times two, right, is divide by two. Okay, now basically, again, divide by two, half, right? Doubling is times by two, 